defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vintage Ugo here today again, and we are continuing our series with trap cards. So we're going to do a top 15, and we have a couple um, honorable mentions. And here at uh, 19, uh, honorable mention pool, we have Jam Defender from Retro Pack 2. Uh, I do like this artwork better than the Liberth of Nightmare just because it's a hollow and uh, it really makes the... Uh, Revival Jam character pop a little bit more, so um, really cool honorable mention artwork there in my opinion. Then we have Call of the Grave. This card really gets no love ever, but just really creepy cool artwork from um, Tournament Pack 2, which is it's uh, impossible to find unscaled packs at this point, so just a really hard card to find. And then another honorable mention, just really creepy artwork there. We got the the skulls on the the hole here, and then this uh, looks like a Hutatsu Hita Sumi giant getting sucked sucked down in, or some some kind of monster. Um, just really creepy artwork. And then my last um, honorable mention, we have Torrental Tribute, and uh, the artwork is just like pure hollow, and um, just really really cool in my opinion. So then we're going to get into the top 15, and at number 15, we have Anti-Regeki. Uh, for a long time, this was a pop one card, and um, has pretty good significance and um, meaning to me, because as you can see by this cert, it's a really old sub, and this was actually part of my first sub, so um, kind of has more meaning to me based on PSA's submission timeline than than any other thing, but really cool artwork here with the the kind of skull uh, skulls and bones. So that, that was fifteen. At fourteen, we have Metal Morph. Uh, just love prismatics on really any card. So uh, Metal Morph made the cut. Helps turn Red Eyes Black Dragon into Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon from the same promo um, FMR. At thirteen, we have Call the Haunted from Pharaoh Servant. Uh, just a really, I use this card a lot um, in dueling and uh, really nostalgic card in that term. And and then also the artwork. I just, I, I like kind of Halloween -y, um themed cards, uh, spooky looking artwork. So that made the cut at number 13. And to keep the, the kind of Halloween theme going on, we have Grave Robber from Pharaoh Servant once again. Super rare. Uh, just really cool artwork, in my opinion. And at number 11, I believe, yes, we have Trap Hole Wavy Variety. Um, I think the waves in this card really just um, drive this up, up the list for me. Just really, um, really cool artwork with the wavy card stock. And um, I used it a lot, too, in, in decks. They came in all the starter decks and um, just... A really, really cool looking card from Legend of Blue Eyes. So got the nostalgic factor and the, the rarity factor for sure. At number 10, we have Imperial Order. <laughs> this card probably wouldn't make anyone's top 10 list besides mine maybe. Um, and it makes it because um, when I was just starting to do YouTube, I opened a random Pharaoh Servant first edition blister pack. And this is the card I pulled. So... Um, I, it, you could use it in duels for sure. Um, it's definitely playable. Um, 2002 card, so super old and nostalgic. And then um, just me pulling it really puts it over the top. And then my love for Eternal Duel Soul uh, and Skull Dice here, just and once again, kind of, you know, Halloween, kind of spooky looking creature that are holding the dice. Um, just really cool prismatic artwork and. You could, it was a, I mean, I used it in duels. I don't know if it was any good or not, but I definitely, definitely used it. And that was number nine. Number eight, we're into the the Mask of Restrict. Only a PSA nine, but uh, for this sake of this, I mean, it doesn't really matter what the grades are. Uh, that, that doesn't really affect any of my rankings. Um, 
but yeah, we have Massacre Strict from LON and just once again, really cool, creepy artwork and um, uh, from one of my favorite sets being Labyrinth of Nightmare. And at number, let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7, I believe, we have Magical Arm Shield. Uh, I believe this was a Joey card uh, and a uh, really hard card to pull from Tournament Pack 8, one in every 108 packs, a rarity, and just the simple, simple artwork, but um, once again, represents the, the card effect. At number six, we have Mirror Force, uh, super, super iconic trap card, super powerful. Um, you know, if this got flipped over, uh, you'd have, have a hard time coming back in a duel. Uh, so just up there at number six for that reason. At number five, we have a gold series one crush card virus only because I do not own a Sean and jump championship crush card, but, uh, I do like the gold, uh, on this card. It makes, makes, uh, makes it pop, uh, so super, super cool artwork there with the little virus in the artwork. So that comes in at number five with Crush Card Virus. Number four, we have another Metal Raiders card with Solemn Judgment. Just a a cool, cool artwork that uh, would be used in, in kind of desperate times, but definitely usable old card and and the, the artwork is just top tier at number three this is probably uh def definitely one of my favorite artworks of any any card regardless if it's magic trap uh a monster just just really cool artwork and uh one of the few trap cards from Magic Ruler, so just really, really good artwork. At number two, Magical Hats, classic Yugi card. It was actually a magic card in the anime, I believe, but he seemed to use this a couple times for sure, so really has that strong connection to the anime. And as you guys will see here, if I can get it on screen, I have an uncut sheet of Pharaoh Servant. So a lot of these cards on this sheet made the cut. So really, really cool item I have here. And uh, so Pharaoh Servant has a kind of a soft spot uh, for me. So Magical Hats came in at number two. And this probably wouldn't be a lot of people's number ones, but I've just... The, the Secret Rare artwork on this. Magic Cylinder. It just just puts puts this at the top of the list for me. And uh, usable card. Definitely used in a lot of duels. And I got lucky enough to get this card a long time ago. And add it to my collection. But uh, on today's date, Magic Cylinder is going to take the number one spot for me on trap cards. But... Easily could be a lot of these other cards with classic Pharaoh Servant cards or Metal Raiders cards. Um, but trap cards are kind of always slept on value-wise. Uh, I think uh, Mirror Force is the most expensive trap card I own. And at most, you might get $2,000 for it, which is crazy to say now, but... There's a lot, a lot of cards in my collection that go for more than that, that are effects or magic or ritual or synchro cards. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely will be doing an effect and vanilla and ritual series. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, comment with what your favorite trap cards are. Uh, always like reading comments on that because there might be a card I totally forgot about. So definitely comment. And I think that's going to do it. So as always, thanks for watching.